Okay. Okay, let me get back to the shared screen. Nope. All right, we're back. We're not, I'm not I'm not paying for the upgrade for the Zoom, so we're we have to do 40 minute videos. All right. Well, back to the matchup here. Uh, the kicker is Matt Gay versus Rodrigo Blankenship. Rodrigo all day. Rodrigo, and and I love I love that he got him because you know Bean loves get, just saying that name, having that name. Oh, I whispered it into his ear. I said, "You take him. You take him. You roll your R's better than me." That's so funny. You deserve yeah. it. <laughs> All right. Uh, for defenses, we have uh, New Orleans at Atlanta or Tampa Bay at Dallas. I got to go New Orleans at Atlanta because Atlanta's not going to be very good this year at all. Yeah, New, or New Orleans for sure. All right. Who are you taking overall? Overall, I'm going to take uh, – that's a good question. I can't – I just can't in my – in my heart of hearts, take Jet with Trey Lance. I don't know. I'm I'm going I'm going Bean. Really? I can't. Yeah, I'm su I'm surprised Trey Lance is projected at 38 points. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pick Justin for the upset. Maybe the Orleans defense could uh, take out some of Mar Mariota's throws for touchdowns or something. Yeah, and and he also could be playing too. Like he he has that Tua to uh, Tyree connection, but. I guess he just doesn't like the matchup. Right. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it could be tough. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm taking Bean. You're taking Jet. Yep. All right. Let's see. Who else do we have left? Do we have – we, are, we, are we to the matchup of the week? We are to the matchup of the week. All right. We are to the matchup of the week. And uh, who, who do you want to take? Do you want to take – well, we're not, we're not going back and forth, are we? I don't, I don't think so. No. <laughs> All right, I'll take this one. And right, now the matchup of the week, week one, the defending champ Shawshank Athletics will be rocking that kimono all weekend long. You know it. Going up against Jim, and uh, according to Josh, he believes that Jim had possibly the best draft. Um and and Jim all oh, he always has great drafts. Not I'm not just blowing smoke. He he always has good drafts. So um, let's kick it off here. We got the defending champ. We got Herbert going up against Brady. Herbert, I'm gonna go Brady. Ooh, I think okay. he's got a lot to prove. Sunday night, you know, he's he's back from retirement. Right, <laughs> his partial retirement. All right, and. <laughs> with his 11 days from camp he's in the cooking or something with his family yep yep hey and when you're the king you're the king that's right do what you want mm -hmm. all right receivers we got uh sorry jamar chase juju <laughs> smith and alan robinson going against cd lamb devonta smith and rondell moore uh, oh rondell moore jeez um, I'm going to go with biscuits and porn here because of CD lamb. And, uh, I like Devonta Smith. I thought, I think he's going to be a sleeper this year. And I honestly thought nobody took him in the draft. I was so happy to select him. And then he was like, selected like four rounds earlier. Wasn't paying attention. Yeah. He, he could have, he could actually have a pretty good year. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm still going to take, I'm still going to take Josh. I, I, I think that Cincinnati is going to light it up against us. Um, and Allen Robinson, he, he could have a nice landing spot in, in in LA. Could be a really nice spot for him. Yeah, but maybe not this week. We'll find out. All right, <laughs> running backs. We got Henry and Elliott versus Eckler and Singletary. I mean, this is a pretty close matchup. Um, uh, Elliott, man, it's a good combo. Yeah, I'm, I mean. That's Henry's a beast. I know Eckler's great, but Devin Singletary has a lot of competition with him. True, true. Yeah, I guess for this week, I'm gonna gonna have to give it to Henry and Elliott. I just don't think Elliott's gonna have a great year, though. Uh, maybe he could be healthy. You never know. I, I don't know. All right. Prove the naysayers wrong. Yeah. This is a really good matchup. Pitts versus Andrews. 
Andrews. Yeah, I'm gonna go Andrews as well, but I don't. Pitts could, Pitts could upset it. Yeah, Pitts is a good. I would like to have Pitts on my team. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, he's gonna be the number one target without a doubt. Yeah. All right, Lockett versus Patterson. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Lockett. I'm going Patterson, man. I just Geno Smith just is probably the worst quarterback in the NFL. And when I say that, I mean in the whole NFL. Yeah, not just starters. Like a second string, a third string. I take Colin Kaepernick, who hasn't played in seven years, over Geno Smith. You know how much I hate Geno Smith? He could take that stupid flat nose and I'd hit it with another brick to make it even flatter. <laughs> that, that, that's good. I like that. All right. Suck up versus Bucker. 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 And Casey versus Denver. Denver, man. Denver's going to crush them. Yeah, you're probably right. Monday What's night football. Yes. In Seattle, man, DK Metcalf and, and Locker are going to be like, what the hell's going on with our career? You know, DK Metcalf is going to be very happy that he got his contract before the season started. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Who are you taking overall? Uh, overall, I think I'm going with uh, – I'm going to go with Crick. Wow. Going for the upset. Yeah, I think so. All right. I'm going to take, I'm going to take the champ. I think on, on the strength of uh, his receivers and Henry. Um, but it, it's going to be close. It's going to be really close. And remember, Jim, to be the man, you got to beat the man. Yep. And he's going to have to beat him twice, maybe. That's true. Yeah. That's a good point. All right. So uh, what do you want to do? You want to do a little draft recap? Yeah, let's do draft recap here. All right. Uh, we'll do like, we'll go team by team and we'll uh, pick out best draft and worst pick. Best pick, worst pick. That sounds good. I haven't, I haven't really looked at this pretty much since the draft. Uh, me either. Uh, do you just want to go from like slot one all the way to slot twelve? Sure. Like by like the team, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. So team one would be Dub C. Right. All right. All right. Let's just take a few we seconds. Because of all the trades. What'd you say? We might get some of these wrong because of all the trades that were happening. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll have to try and keep that all straight. You going to bed? Hold on a second. Pause. Yeah, I'm not going to bed. Oh. I stuck in the bed. Oh, uh, okay. Right. Sounds good. Okay. All right. All right. How's it going? It's going well. We're almost done, I think. Are you winning? Well, we're not. We're just doing a podcast. I'm not winning. I'm always winning, babe. I married you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I learned that from the Brian Volskill School of Kiss Ass. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Love you. Okay. I'll be downstairs. Okay. Love you too. Cleaning the sink. Oh, thank you. Look at that. See? I married a good one. What'd you say? He's cleaning the sink. I married a good one. Oh my goodness. Cleaning the sink. That's wonderful. <laughs> All right. Let me look at this real fast. I know you probably were looking while I was 10 minutes. Yeah. Back. While you were talking, I was looking. So um, well, I know Alan Robinson is not his pick. Right. So I don't remember exactly who he had. I'm going to go with his best pick. Uh, believe it or not, I think his best pick was McCaffrey because he could have went so many different ways and he didn't, he didn't waver on it. And that, I think that helped him in the long run. I think that even though it's at, it's at my detriment, I think Ramondre Stevenson is going to be the best pick of his draft, eighth round. I think he's going to end up being the man. From everything I've heard and read, and just from last year, I just think he's going to probably take that role like over over Harris. So I'm going to say that's his best pick. Okay, I'm going to say his worst pick is Garrett Wilson of the New York Jets because he picked him in the ninth round, and then he dropped him. Like almost immediately oh for, for whatever it was, I just could have, what was it? It was terrible. Oh, uh, Trey Sermon, I believe. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and, yeah, I yeah. thought to myself, God, I was like, I really wanted Garrett Wilson. I put my waiver claim in, but I wasn't going to put any money up because I'm already pretty wide receiver heavy. But I just couldn't believe he dropped him without who, even like. Who picked him up? Uh, Ed did. Oh, okay. Like if I was, why did you drop Jameson Crowder? Yeah. Like what? <laughs> it was pretty uh, crazy. 
thought that, 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 that is a pretty bad pick. Um, so, I mean, maybe he won't do anything this, this season, but still, I just was surprised. I'm going to say his worst pick just because of the, there's no value, in my opinion, of Javonta Williams. I just think – that- What's that? Okay. The count as a keeper? Yeah, it's he's a keeper. He took him in like the very beginning of the third round. Um, okay. I just think that, you know, he might have saved himself like, I don't know, 12 positions or something, you know, maybe eight positions or something like that. But it's, yeah. just, I don't think it's great value. Maybe he'll prove me wrong. Maybe he'll have an amazing year. Obviously, Bean was really big on him in the offseason and he couldn't yeah. talk himself out of keeping him. But I just don't <laughs> think there's a lot of value. True, true. All right. All right. My Let's team. Go on to you. Let's see. Uh, my All first right. pick was Saquon. Let me just let you know. What your first what? First round oh, yeah, pick. Okay. <laughs> I got a lot of things switched around here. All right. I think that your best pick. We'll probably end up being pick, we'll probably end up being Pickens. I just I could see him taking over as like taking over Claypool's number, you know, WR two position, and yeah, he could have a he could have a good year. So with with the tenth round, that's good value. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say he's probably your best pick. Okay, I'm gonna go my best pick since we're doing like keeper value here too. I, I'm still sure. saying Allen, man, thirteenth round. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's, well, that's, a, that's a no-brainer. You said Josh, you said Javante Williams. So yeah. yeah. But if it wasn't okay. that, I'd probably say George Pickens as well. Okay. Um, I think I don't know. I think your worst pick has the potential to be Brees Hall. I just I don't it's not my pick. Oh, who who was that? I think that's Josh. Okay. Yeah, that's not great. Um <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go MG. I'm gonna go MG three then. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I can see. That's a good argument. Yeah, it could be a waste. Could be a wasted pick potentially. I think uh, uh, Christian Watson for Green Bay. It's the fourteenth round, but I just I don't know. I'm not really quite sure. Oh, it could be actually. You know what? It could be Zach Ertz. Yeah. He's hurt all the time, yeah. but I tight end and i don't know i, I was in the uh the, the uh i was between the regular the what is it the down what's that thing in stranger things the upside down or, yeah the upside down i was like getting between the regular world and the upside down and that's where like Ertz is he's like he's in the tree portal or whatever it was for one of those seasons gotcha and i panicked that's hilarious all so right <laughs> what about ed logger Ed Logger. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, hmm. let's, go, let's go best first. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go Michael Thomas in the fifth round. You, you like that? I mean, he... he... He lo- he loves him so much. He does. I mean, he got down to hop to the fourth round, but I I mean he's suspended for six games yeah. or else like that. But I, I'm gonna go with Michael Thomas because he could. I mean, you just don't you don't know what you're gonna get. But in the fifth round, that's really worth giving it a freaking gamble, man. Yeah, I'm a, I'm actually gonna go with the uh, Thielen like with the sixth round, like which is technically the seventh round with all the keepers and everything, like. That's a, he's fallen pretty far, um, so I think that's great value. He he might be a WR two every week. Possible. Uh, uh, go my you. worst pick for him is Marlon Mack in the fourteenth round. <laughs> He'd even make the squad. Yeah, that's bad. Um, I I personally think De- I think his DeAndre Hopkins pick was too early. I think. A fourth round value for a guy that's going to miss the first six games. I don't know. I think you, I think you could have waited like two, three rounds probably. I don't think I don't think he should have gone that early. 
possible yet, but you know, I love me some DeAndre Hopkins. I don't think that two, three rounds, he would have made it back to him. Yeah, you probably would take him in the fifth, huh? Uh, fifth or sixth for sure. But I was eyeing him up. I I did. I bit my lip a little when he took him. And I, it hurt. All righty. All right, let's go down to Shawshank. I, I think I know. I know his I know his worst. Let me find his best. You know his worst already? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, huh. um, it's not Hunter Renfro because it's my team. Just you're going to say. Got it. Nope. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say his best might be, I don't know, LA Rams D in the 11th is pretty good. That is pretty good. That's his, you think that's his best? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to say that's his best. I'm going to, okay. All right. Uh, I got my worst set up here. Um, I'm going to go his best is Jahan Dotson in the uh, 13th round. Okay. Yeah. My worst is uh, Tyler Lockett in the seventh round. Ooh, that is, that is bad. Yeah. Which is sad because of Geno Smith, the worst yeah, because, quarterback in the league. Yeah, it's not Tyler Lockett's fault. It's, it is not. Not even close. Um, I think that his worst pick is going to prove to be Juju. I just – don't have really? a whole lot of I don't have a lot of faith in that guy. He's just like a, you know, just a move the chains kind of guy. I don't think he's gonna get a lot of touchdowns. I don't think he's gonna get a lot of yards after the catch. He had big. He had big Ben Roethlisberger thrown to him. Who should he should have been in the league for the last two years? Maybe. He's got my homes, baby. Well, guess what? We're gonna we're gonna find out. I mean, he he he's been he's been banged up a lot too. He has, but he's only like twenty five or something. Yeah. I just think I think it's early, so we're gonna we're gonna see if it pans out. Okay. <laughs> I'm moving on to Saquon. Ain't so. Let's see here. Best and worst. Uh, obvious, obvious. That Drake London pick is mine. Right. Um. I'll go best pick, Alvin Kamara. Fifth overall. I think so. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, no. I think I'm going to go with, uh, I don't know. I think Dobbins in third just because I think there's, there's just a lot of hype around him this year. Right. I know, I know that, like, obviously Lamar runs a lot, but they're, they're hoping that he has a big break, breakout year. So I'm going to give it to Dobbins in the third. Okay. Uh, my worst, LaVisca Chenault Jr. in the 17th. That's so funny. You're like, I don't care how far down it is. No, it's LaVisca Chenault. You don't take him. Yeah. Um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go A.J. Brown. I think that's too early. I just – I don't like it. I don't like that in the second round. Homer pick. Yeah, Homer pick way too early. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, uh, moving on to uh, from gags to riches here. Uh, I already got his worst, no doubt. Do you? I think I got I got his worst too. Uh, let's see here. All right, his best, in my opinion, probably again, probably at my uh, my detriment. I think it's probably going to be Daryl Henderson in the eleventh. Okay. Uh, I was going to I think uh, Jarvis Landry in the 13th, man. That's, that is very good value. Potential. We know, I mean, we know he's, he's a possession guy, I believe. Right. Yep. Or yep. Slot, so he should get the ball thrown to him. man. with, I mean, Jameis Winston, depending on, it's all about the coach, you know, Winston likes to sling it. He'll throw it all over. I'll throw it all day. If you'll let him. I feel like that was a very, like, I was almost Pittsburgh daddish. Wasn't it? I think it was. It Jeez. was. <laughs> Jeez. It's, it's even your mannerism. Yeah, well, that started to change without even knowing it. Uh, my worst, or I'm sorry, his worst, Clyde Edwards Hilaire in the yep. third round. Yep, without a doubt, 100%. Yeah. He treated him like it was his rookie year. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, what did what was he thinking in that moment? Like, was he smoking? He's yeah, probably still exactly. Yeah, CEH in the third round. Yeah, two years ago? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yep. Oh, man. <laughs> 
I was going to say, or DK Metcalf in the fourth. <laughs> Although I love DK Metcalf. Black Rhino. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Craig Kabisic. Craigie. Craigie. All right. Let's see here. Let's pick. I think his best pick was, uh, let's see here. Probably a uh, Darnell Mooney in the sixth round. Okay. You like that? Yeah, I did. Um, I think that I think his best pick is going to in the in the long run is going to prove to be Pollard. I think Pollard's gonna take over that running back slot and I think he's gonna have a great value at that eighth round. Uh you are really hating on Zeke. I, I do. I do hate I hate on Zeke. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it to Pollard in the eighth. All right. Hey, I like Pollard, man. I like him a lot. I just think it's the Jerry Jones effects, man. Jerry Jones loves him some Zeke. Mm. Uh, the worst pick he made, Cortland Sutton in the third round. You think so? I think it's way too reach, way too yeah. big of a reach. I don't see – I just don't think uh, – I don't think the passing offense is going to be as good as people think it is. Yeah, he's definitely he, – he drank the Kool-Aid. Yes, he I did. Mean, I, li- I do like Sutton this year. We'll see what happens. I, I, li- I like it. Um, I'm going to say another kind of reach is, um, I don't know, Brandon Ayuk in the fifth. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not crazy about that. That's a good reach, too. I just – with uh, Trey Lance. Yeah. Um, nobody knows. Like, he's just not – you know, his accuracy, we don't know. I think you could have got him a little later. I think you could have, too. I wasn't even thinking about it then at all. Yeah. All right. Possum. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Okay. I got his worst. Dang. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Yes, I do too. Okay. <laughs> All right. His best okay. is Damian Pierce in the fifth round. I, 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 I like that. Um, I'm going to say his best might end up being just who knows Michael Gallup in the 13th. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, he, he comes back to be injured. Yeah. Is he still going to be WR2 there? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. I mean, the 13th round, that's incredible value. That is incredible value. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Where's pick? Say it together. Yeah. Say it together on the count of three. One, two, three. Josh Jacobs. <laughs> Once again, Clyde Edwards of Hilaire, just like that. Just can't. <laughs> that's right. Don't know why they were taking the third round. Uh, I was like, thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. Now You're a Okay. I, I, okay. I got my word. And let's see. Hmm. Okay. I think I got my, yeah, I got my best. All right, hold on. Give me one second here. Uh, all right, I, I got your best. My okay, opinion. Say it together. Ready? One, two, three. Travis DJ Kelsey. Moore. DJ Moore. Uh, DJ Moore. Yeah, I like that too. But the fourth round. Yeah, I like that's pretty good value. But I, I, I have to go Kelsey because I just didn't think he'd be there in the second. I. If I would have had, if I would have been the back end of the draft the second round, he wouldn't have been. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I mean, but I wasn't. So you definitely, I was, I was surprised Gags didn't take him the first round. Me too. Yeah. I thought, <laughs> sure. I thought he was going to be, I would have to take him the first round. Yeah. So. Uh, your worst? Yeah. I'm going to Marquez Valdez Scantling. I don't know, man. I think he could have, he could have a big year. How does Marquez Valdez Scantling going to have a big year, but Juju Smith Schuster isn't? <laughs> he's clearly biased yeah because he, he likes to he likes to throw that deep ball he likes to do a lot of things <laughs> Great. all right i think my worst pick is damian harris Dang, really in the fifth round yeah I, just, I, I mean i hope i'm wrong i just don't i'm just not big i'm just not really not hyped on him this year okay and why'd you take him <laughs> i don't know I, I because i had no running backs oh okay 
besides my keepers, and I had to take somebody. That's a good point. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get on the, <laughs> dis let's get on the disco. All right. You know, he's itching with anticipation, probably going to like be like, ew, gross. Da -da -da -da. Uh -huh. Let's see here. I don't know what my dog's barking at, but whatever. I talk. Let's see here. Okay. Okay. I got, <laughs> I got his worst. Yeah. Uh, I got his best as well. Okay. All right, go ahead. His best pick is Darren Waller in the fifth round. Yeah, that is that's pretty good. I mean, he could have, I think, um, he would have kept him in like the seventh or eighth. So he 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 did pretty well. Um, I'm gonna say his best just because I love take I love making this pick every year. I'm gonna give Alexander Madison the eleventh. I just like it. I mean. It's, it could that's kind of that's like a league winner kind of player potential yeah potentially yep all right for the worst pick i'm gonna go Traylon burks in the eighth round yeah i like it it's a little early i'm, I'm gonna say sky more in the seventh Sky more okay i was debating but i think Traylon burks just from everything i've heard isn't doing so well okay yeah i mean he he he, like he, he just wanted his rookies you know right it's just kind of crazy yeah. i almost said Kenny Galladay in the 12th. I know. I was thinking about that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Every day is not a holiday in Bigler's book. No way. I hate that guy. Yes, we all David, do. David David Njoku in the 17th is pretty good value. Yeah, that is pretty good value. You're right. Playing was like a backup tight end. or in Dang. the bye week. Hmm. True. All right. Yeah. Let's go with Crick, Biscuits and Porn. All righty. Uh, Barkley and Montgomery are my picks, just to let you know. Wow, that was fast. Oh, oh, oh I thought you, yeah, I got you, got you, got you. Boy, it's been a long off season for you. It has been a very long off season. <laughs> um, his worst pick, oh, well, let's do best first. Yeah, uh, uh, best for me is uh, Devonta Smith in the sixth round. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good value right there. Um. Who did he take? Do you know who he took in the third, or did he not have a third rounder? Uh, he didn't have a third rounder. Okay. He had my sixth round pick. I'm going to actually say Russell Gage in the 16th. I think he could have a breakout kind of year. Let's say Julio doesn't do anything, and Godwin isn't you know very healthy in the long run. Gage could have that kind of season. Okay. With, with Brady thrown to him. I think his worst pick. Uh, whew, sorry. Actually, who did I say his best pick? Devontae Smith. Yeah. Um, take it back. His best pick was Chris Olave in the eighth round. Okay. Uh, the worst pick, uh, I would say Brian Robinson in the tenth round because he got shot. Oh my God! You you seriously just took my, what I was going to say. Really? <laughs> I was going to say the same exact thing. He should have known that he was going to get shot. He should have. He should have been playing for DC, and that shit like that happens. <laughs> Um, who did he take in the first round? Actually, do you know? Uh, Austin Eckler. Okay. Yeah, that might be his best pick too. That's that's a really good pick. Nice move up. Um, yeah, I don't know. Worst pick. I don't know. It's, there's really nothing glaring. No. So it's Rondell Moore in the twelfth. Yeah, I don't know. KJ Hamler in 18th, you know, throwing the flyer out there. Yeah. So. All right. Um, Jut. Dark wing Jut. Ten, ten minutes left. Ten minutes left. We can do this. All right. Uh... Okay, I got his worst. Uh... Okay, I got his worst. Um, I think I got his best as well. All right, you go first. All right, best pick is uh, Rashad Bateman in the sixth Ooh. round. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm actually going to give it to Mike Williams. Is that his pick or is that somebody else's? I believe that's his pick. I'm pretty sure it is too. I just think yeah. he's going to have, a, I think he's going to have a great year. I'm going Mike Williams. I know, I know he's been boom or bust. He's been like hot and cold, but I just, I, I, I like him. I'm going to go, I'm going to go Mike Williams in the fourth. I like it. Okay. Uh, Worst pick who I have. Uh, t- Jawan Jennings in the sixth, seventeenth round. I know, I know it's the seventeenth round, but who the hell's Jawan Jennings? Yeah, Jawana Man comes to my mind. The old the movie Jawana Man. So funny. <laughs> um, I'm I'm gonna say worst uh, Eli Mitchell in the third. Really, I disagree on that one. I- <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm just. I'm just. I'm never big on San Francisco running backs. The exact opposite. I'm big on San Francisco running I, backs. I know you are. I know you are. Um, not not a fan. So maybe it's just personal bias. Why is it personal? Well, just like I just because I I feel like I've just gotten burned by San Fran running backs before. Just I just I feel like it's kind of like New England running backs. Like you just don't really know where to go. Okay, well, I mean, if we had more time, Brian, I'd like to you to sit on your couch and we can get to the root of things with your uh, <laughs> with your bias, but we don't have that much time. It's it stems back to Jeff Garcia, all right? Jeff Garcia, wow, wow. Okay, that's a real that is therapy. You need that therapy. Is, I do. That was a bad pick. My problem with Jeff here's my Jeff Garcia therapy thing is how does a guy look like him? Get a smoking hot babe, even if you are an athlete like him. He's, <laughs> I thought he was gay. Yeah. Honestly, it, I thought he was. He still could be. He could be. Could be. Maybe a truth to come out. Yeah. One. I'll, I'll watch the documentary. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to watch that documentary. I'm too busy watching a documentary, Wrexham. What is it? Wrexham. Never heard of it. Uh, so Ryan Reynolds and the guy from Always Sunny in Philadelphia by a soccer club. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Wrexham, and it's their documentary on, on like the process. I'm two two episodes in, but it's pretty cool. That is cool. And they actually they actually bought a team. They did. Wow. Yeah, it's a team in Wales. Very nice. Yeah. I guess they're both just really big into soccer, huh? What's that? I guess they're both really into soccer, huh? Oh, uh, well, the guy from all these sunny in Philadelphia had no idea pretty much what it is. Are you serious? He, he had to learn the rules. Uh, and Ryan Reynolds played some soccer as a, ki- as, as a kid, but he didn't really know too much either. But they just thought it was kind of cool to buy a club and, you know, in a, in a little town that, like, is, like, a depressed area right now, I guess. And they want to build it up. Like, it's for, more for, like, the community than they are. They're more about the community than they are about the sport, which is kind of cool. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, and the uh, and the club is owned by like the board of trustees or whatever you want to call them, is the fans, mm-hmm. kind of like Green, I guess. But uh, they the fans make the, they had to make the decision on whether to accept the offer to buy the team from them. Wow, that's cool. So is is a lot of it shot in Wales? Uh, yeah. Cool. Actually, yeah, because you're you're hearing from the Wales fans as well, and the uh, players, the uh, the, like the guy's director or whatever. Uh, so far, from what I've seen. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. Back to football, like American football for right now. Um. Just, just out of curiosity, who, who are you taking to win it all this year? Not, not in Tonto's demise, but in the NFL. Um. Buffalo. Me too. I'm serious. I'm big on Buffalo this year. Yeah, uh, me too. They get home, home field advantage in the playoffs, especially if it gets cold. Yeah. Like you, I like. I don't think Kansas City is going to come in and be able to do anything with that fan base. Uh, trying to think who else. Cincinnati. Yeah. Uh, Baltimore. Yeah. Char- the Chargers to- could be a contender. They definitely could. That's probably the number two, in my my opinion, for the AFC. I think KC is number three. Yeah. And then Cincinnati, number four. Okay. Um, and then who do you think is going to make it from the NFC? Tampa Bay? No, I don't think Tampa Bay. I think uh, I think Green, Green Bay. Really? Yeah, I think they have a really solid defense. Wow. And Rodgers, man. 
I think it's back to back to back MVPs. Wow. Yeah, it's it's hard it's hard to root against that guy, but I mean he lost a lot of he lost a lot of weapons. You don't have Devontae Adams who they're gonna key on. So who are you gonna key on? Because it's like all these receivers that nobody knows who's gonna be the pass catcher. Yeah, but he yeah, exactly. But they're I've, I, they're all young and not not a whole lot of experience. Well, you got uh Cobb and yeah, Cobb, Steve yeah. And Lazar, and they're all older. And my yeah. point is the person that knows he's gonna catch that ball is Rogers. True. True. So he he's already good at it. You know, you already told Chicago that he owns him. <laughs> he did. So I think he's gonna prove this is just a challenge to him, man. Okay. He's making like fifty million this year or something crazy. He's gonna be like, That's yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Knows how to do stuff. All right, who you who you think wins Tonto is the most twentieth year? Oh boy. I mean, looking at all the oh, man. That's I that's... I ha- I hate to say it, but I'm going this guy. Disco? No. Dude. No, I don't think so. He's got the three running backs that are yeah, wide receivers are weak. Yeah. Real weak. And if one of those if one of those running backs goes down, man, he's in trouble. And he knows I'm right. I can see him piercing his lips, go, you son of a dirty mutter. Oh, he's trying to smoke a cigarette. That's funny. But no, I don't think it's disco. I don't think it's me either. You have a good team. Yeah, I, I I don't I don't have a good feeling. What's that? I don't. I'm not. I'm not picking my team this year. I'd like to, but yeah, I'll go. I'll go crick. I want to go to the hot tub. Nice crick in the hot tub. <laughs> I like it. I like, like it. I want to pick Jimmy Huber because I wanted to go to the beach. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'd like to see. I'd like to see Ed Logger win it. That'd be fun. Yeah, but uh, I got, I'm I'm just gonna make it back to the playoffs this year, and then and then see what happens. Yeah, I do like my team though. I'm pretty good. Uh, I got I'm pretty different. I'm I have I have depth. I'm pretty around solid all around. Like I got some running backs. I got some wide receivers. It's different for me this year than it was last. But all the other years where I was wide receiver heavy and lucky, I've had one great running back. That's true. That's true. You are very weak on running back. Yeah, but I don't have a great tight end. Was oh. I, not, I don't have a great defense either, so it's uh, – I don't know. I don't know what to think. Of. I, I like it, but I'm also very uncomfortable. <laughs> All right. Any, any final thoughts? Uh, were you drinking an IPA? I heard you sniffling. No, I am not. I'm drinking coffee. Drinking coffee? Yeah, nice. Alf. Life's a beach. Nice. It's a great mug. Yeah. Uh, final thoughts. Um, I'm super stoked to have the league back together. 20th season. NFL started again. It's great. Uh, game's going on right now. Um, so many things can happen uh, fantasy-wise, you know. Uh, NFL Network, just a, all so many great games. Like, you know, like the Steelers play the Raiders Christmas Eve. Yeah. Um, whatever Thanksgiving. I'm just super happy to have football back. And, uh, just, and, the, okay. and the draft is fun. I wish I would have been there for that night. It sounds like you guys had a really good time. I am yeah. kind of mad. I not get to see – probably the only chance I'll have to see uh, a PlayStation 5. Oh, we played it too. It was fun. Is it awesome? Yeah, it was great. We, we just played like, um, like like a Smash Brothers type game. It was it was a lot of fun. But like the graphics and stuff upgrade from like a PS4? Oh, yeah. Like we, he showed me a game that's like Breath of the Wild, but it wasn't. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but it was it was amazing. It was like Breath of the Wild, like on steroids times a thousand. It was it blew my mind. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Why, why would you never ever get to see a PS5? I mean, I don't go to people's houses to play video games and true. Like the only way you're gonna win a PS5 is or get a PS5 is if you win the league three years in a row. You got that right. Play. Yeah, three years. <laughs> That's uh, true. And I, I don't think I'm mean, the only way I'll probably gonna upgrade my gaming system here is when Finnegan wants 